everybody. Hello, Ana. <risa> Hello. Oh, me quita la gafa. Pues si me quito la gafa no veo. <risa> Hello, everyone. Hello, Ana. How are you today? Oh, I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic with orange hair. But <laughs> well, otherwise. you're suited. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Well, it's funny because Anna lives 20 minutes away, but it was it was raining a little bit, so <laughs> we got lazy. Well, it was raining a little bit. It was, it was raining. It was pouring, raining. You know, <laughs> rain, but raining just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so we are here today, Anna and I, to talk about the new book club that I'm running and this is the book that Anna was holding uh, so with this time we're doing brújulas que buscan sonrisas perdidas uh, this book was picked by the students that did the previous book club okay mm -hmm. we had like um, they selected I think five or six books and then they they picked this was the the most popular one and I'm glad because it's really nice. It's a beautiful book indeed. No, no spoilers, but it's nice, isn't it, Anna? Obviously. Very, very nice. Very nice. So um, the previous book clubs have been um, just, you know, me on my own. But this time I thought, why don't we do a book club with Anna? Why? Because Anna is really good at interpreting books. She's done courses before on writing, haven't you, Anna? Yes. And she specializes on that. Um, so I thought it would be a brilliant idea that we both get together and do this book club together. And so this is what we're going to do. My part is going to be the usual part if you've done a previous book club with me. So I'll be covering more like grammar, grammatical terms or vocabulary. I'll also be doing the review of the, the pages that we're doing per week. Okay, this uh, book club will be a five week course. Okay, um, and then so I'll be doing the, the, the grammatical terms. Okay, the, um, when you read the book, the things you encounter that are a bit like, I don't understand this sentence. But then Anna is going to do the more artistic part. Anna, can you explain what you're going yes. to do? Yes. Well, in this joint adventure that Cynthia and I are doing together, we, I am, what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze the book from another perspective, not from the grammar point of view or, or, the, or the vocabulary one, but more like the resources, the literary resources that have been used in this book, things that he has used that is like, whoa, why? Why has he used this and hasn't used any other thing? I'm, talk, I'm going to talk about how the, the main character evolves in the book, when he's, who is he when he starts, who is he throughout the journey, and who is he when he finishes. I'm going to talk about the characters, what they represent. And what and this representation, how, how they they impact on the main character and on the book in general. So I think that not only we read a book and we understand what is being said in the book, or we understand the grammar points or the vocabulary. I think it's also interesting, and this is what I intend to teach uh, the students, is that there's more to a book than grammar and vocabulary. Exactly. Much more than that. And you can find a lot of things, a lot of little jewels when you're reading a book. So I will try to, to open the eyes to those little jewels. Oh, that's excellent. And I will also like to find, because this book has got plenty, plenty of very interesting and very wise quotes. And I would like also to mention these quotes because they make you think. And I like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know? 
So this is a basically basically what I will be doing. I'll talking about the author, talking about. Fantastic. So um, as you can see, what I'm doing and what Anna is doing is different, but they complement one another. And I think uh, this is a, a fantastic idea because in the previous books, I've always felt that I could have done so much more, um, you know, because we, we've done books like um, El Principito and oh, what was the, the name of the first one, Anna? I forgot. Um, I forgot the oh, name. Yeah, Paulo Coelho. The El Paulo Coelho book, yeah. yeah. <laughs> El Alquimista. Uh -huh. um, and I thought I could, you know, above all with El Alquimista, I could have done so much more. There was so much meat in there, as we would say, mucha chicha. Mucha chicha. Uh -huh. And I think Anna is going to help tremendously. So you can, you can really um, get the most of, of this book and this course. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, uh, really interesting. Yo, yo, yo sacaré la chicha. No? Yo sacaré la chicha. la chicha. I'll do the boring part then, Anna, yeah? And do the... No, well, <laughs> not, not, not the boring part. I mean, really difficult part, you know, but you really go through every little grammatical detail. That is a very big job, eh? But you know, the good things that people have done the previous book clubs, yeah. we do, when, when I've been doing this one and also with El Principito, because it, it was the second, yeah. many of the things that we covered in El Alquimista, of course, were repeated, you know, structures were repeated okay. in El Principito and also here again. So even the, the things that are not, um, the things that we don't tend to use that much in, for example, verbal oh. communication, but in books you find a lot, yes. then you, know, you, you see like no. a pattern going on. So I think mm -hmm. that it helps you to expand vocabulary and uh, the knowledge of how you write a book, the ways of writing a book, like you can explain. Mm -hmm. So um, this book, uh, this book, this book club will start uh, on Wednesday, the 17th of November. Mm -hmm. And what we'll do is, um, my because my course is five-week course, so the first two weeks will just be my, my, my work. And then from the third week, you'll have also uh, Anna's work alongside. Why not from the beginning? Because if not, there will there would be spoilers. Yeah. Okay. So we thought it would be a better idea to just wait, postpone it for two weeks, and then on the third week, it will be my mine and Anna's work together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you'll be with me, Anna, for the the last three weeks of the of the course. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> I will be with you in the last three weeks of the course. So now uh, the cost of the, the course. So this one uh, will be 35 pounds uh, for the non-socios. And if you're asking what's a socio, then you are a non-socio. <laughs> <laughs> um, and 30 uh, pounds for the socios. Um, okay, what else? What else? Ah, and we, we pay by Stripe, which is I send you a link and you just pay by, by card. Okay, so we, you don't need a PayPal account because I've had um, people before that didn't have a PayPal account and they found it difficult. So I think Stripe is the, the easiest way for, for everyone. So I send you the link and you pay by card and, and that's that. Okay, so if you're interested, uh, Send me an email. I'll have the email written below. Send me an email and I'll add you to the list. And then I would see you on the 17th of November, on Wednesday. Okay, Ana, well, muchísimas gracias. Gracias a ti, Cintia. Y un saludo a todo el mundo y nos veremos. Nos veremos. Nos, nos veremos, nos veremos, definitivamente. <laughs> Muy bien, pues te deseo un buen día y os deseo un día estupendo a todos también. Muy Hasta bien. luego, adiós. Adiós.